How's it going, everybody? So today we're going to be doing a ride review on the Dobbins Colt Series, uh, specifically the 705 CB. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, quick scenery change, just so I could get y'all some better lighting. So let's talk about this. The Dobbins Fury Series 705 CB. So I decided to make this review because when I bought this ride a couple months ago off Tackle Warehouse, uh, it was relatively new. There weren't many reviews on it. Uh, this rod runs, I believe, $79.99, so it wasn't too expensive, but it didn't seem like a cheap rod either. So let's go over some of the specs on it. So let's talk about this rod a little bit. This rod has split grips with EVA foam. I really like the EVA foam just because it's nice and solid and doesn't really slip. It has a nice comfortable handle on it. Uh, this rod's made out of graphite. Check out the guides. Those are uh, C guides. But let's get to the most important thing. Most important thing about this rod is for a rod under under a hundred dollars, this thing is ridiculously light and super well built. You can tell just by the craftsmanship, the rings for counterbalancing on the butt, and how nice the guides are. That. Uh, for under $100, you're not going to find uh, anything nicer than this. And even paired with the reel, as lightweight as this uh, rod is, you can fish it all day with no fatigue. So I really like that. All right, so one thing I'm going to do a little bit different is I'm actually going to show you the baits that uh, I like to throw with this rod. I feel like this is helpful because a lot of times when I'm looking for rods online, uh, I'm looking for rods because I want to try a new technique. So I need to make sure the rod that I'm buying fits for the baits that I'm going to use because I don't want to have to go through the hassle of returning rods online. So with this Dobbins, as you can see right here, it is rated from a quarter ounce to one ounce. And what I found with this rod is that it's a little bit ambitious. I find that the rod handles anywhere from half ounce to five eighths the best. So I'm gonna show you the baits I like to throw on the rod. I throw uh, most of my treble hook baits just because of the moderate action that the rod has. So first we have a quarter ounce rattle trap. The rod can also handle half ounce rattle traps. We have the whopper plopper. This is a 90 size, it's three eighths ounce. You can sling this thing a mile. Can handle any small square bill. This is a little quarter ounce bandit. Uh, also handle KVD 1.5s. I feel like the rod was tailored to crankbaits like this. This is the Bomber 6A, and it throws this and any uh, uh, other quarter ounce crankbaits really well. Uh, next, we have a Bandit 300 series crankbaits. Uh, crankbait. This is a 3 8 ounce. Uh, I probably wouldn't go with anything deeper diving than this. And then finally, maxing out, we have a Bomber 7A. Uh, this is a half ounce. So what I found with this rod is it handles anything up to either a half ounce or a 5 eighths ounce or anything that dives pretty much up to 12 feet. If you get uh, to anything bigger than that or dives deeper than that, uh, I mean the rod can handle it. However, you end up getting so much bend on the end of your rod that you can't really differentiate uh, what you're hitting on the bottom or anything. So overall, for $80, I love this rod. It's amazing. Uh, I fish with this rod all the time. Uh, I switch it out with my deep, deep cranking rod uh, when I need to do that. But for $80, this thing is super light, super st uh, sturdy. The craftsmanship on it is great. I oh, hope I didn't just break it. I know you probably can't see well, but uh, the eyes are in line. So my final verdict on this rod is if you are looking for a rod under 100 bucks, this is the answer right here, the Dobbins Colt Series. I hope y'all enjoyed the review on this Dobbins Colt Series 705CB crankbait rod. Uh, I enjoyed doing it. 
but that's probably just because I like to spend money on fish and stuff and talk to people about it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and leave me a like, a comment, subscribe if you like. I appreciate it. See you next time.